we got a celebration, baby, because this is Video Games Monthly, and this is box number 50. <laughs> so welcome back, you guys. So like I said, we got box number 50 right here from Video Games Monthly. Um, you guys know how much I love my video game mystery boxes, and uh, I've been with BGM for a while now, obviously, 50 boxes in so we've got to uh, we got to do something special something special for this unboxing since uh this is uh the 50th and this is actually also the final vgn that we're going to do on the channel at least at least for a while anyhow this is the the final of this run so what do we got for this one to celebrate with a little bit right here we're going to celebrate a little bit with this jameson ipa edition this is something that I picked up a while back. As you can see, I've drank on it a little bit. I'm not a whiskey guy so much. You guys know I'm a beer guy. Um, love beer. Whiskey, it's not bad. It's just not my thing. I'm a beer guy, like I said. I don't know. Anyway, this one right here, it comes to us. This is whiskey that's finished in craft beer IPA barrels. So it's got a little bit of a little bit of a hit to it. The beer we have to uh, chase the uh, whiskey with comes to us from a uh, brewery that's not too far away. I've had them on the channel once or twice before. Crooked Crab Brewing Company. And we got the Crab Theft Auto. This right here is a 7% ABV, hazy New England style IPA because I love IPAs. And uh, Crooked Crab, they can fucking bang out some killer IPAs. This one is no exception. So let's crack this uh, Jameson open right here. Have us, ourselves a little swig. And a little taste of this delicious IPA. Mmm. Man, that's good. Both of them are good. Um, like I said, not a whiskey guy, but this is a, it's a pretty smooth, smooth uh, whiskey. If you guys are into different kinds of Irish whiskey, um, Jameson makes a good one here. I've had a couple of other styles of theirs that I've liked as well. Not a whiskey guy, not a, a whiskey aficionado, but this one's pretty good. Definitely worth Worth picking up if you've, you haven't had it and you want something a little bit different. And if you're ever in Odenton, Maryland, check out Crooked Crab. I actually did um, a couple weeks back from when I'm recording this, I did a uh, brewery tour down there. It was really neat. Got to see the back area. It was like 20 people or so. Um, they, they brought us in. They talked about the brewery. They talked about the operation and stuff. They fed us, gave us free beer. Um, well, I guess it wasn't free. It was all part of the tour, right? But it was a lot of fun. So definitely if you're ever down that way, um, check them out if you're ever in that that area and if uh, if you're down that way hell holler at me we'll uh we'll get together maybe if i have some time we'll come down that way because it's, it's not real close to where i live it's about an hour away from home but um i know exactly where it is so be kind of fun to the video games monthly there's our boy floyd right here this is the 50th box i don't know <laughs> um been a good service i can't say anything bad about vgm they have um they, they've treated me well the, the reason I decided to to move away from the service right now, though, is strictly from the standpoint of I don't really feel like I feel like feel like I could use the fifty three dollars a month that I spend on this um, towards my collecting goals a little bit better. And I can be selective and I can ensure that every last dollar of that is going towards my my collection um, for a long time, for probably the first three years or so of getting the box. I was getting great boxes. They really boosted my Nintendo, my 10. Nintendo, Jesus Christ, I had too much to drink already. Um, my Nintendo 64 collection and my Nintendo collection a lot. And um, they, they helped me find tons of games that I may not have found so easily in the area. Uh, but now it's just gotten harder for them to find games to 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 meet the, the box for me every month. And we've been working a, a plan out over the past year. It just hasn't really worked out the greatest for me. Um, no offense to VGM because, you know, they got a business to run. So they, you know, that I'm outside of their business model with what I was asking them to do for me and they were doing their best. So I just decided that it was probably the best to just move along. Who knows, maybe if I decide in the future that I want to start collecting for a different system, a newer system or something like that, that they have, then maybe I'll, uh, I'll jump back on it. Who knows? Um, let's reach into the box though. We'll see what we got going on right here. Like I said, I do a five game box, but they've been doing a deal with me where I pay, um, it's a total of fifty two ninety nine a month. And that, um, is for the box and for shipping and uh it's a five game box but they've been sending me their the deal is we're supposed to send me close to the value of what i pay for the box every month um 
that you could do three, four, five, or 10 game boxes. That's up to you if you decide you want to subscribe to them. Um, they do, um, I think, everything from PS4 and Xbox One back to Atari 2600 and ColecoVision. Lots of different stuff. In this box, I'm feeling two games right now. It feels like an N64 game, and it feels like a cased game, which means it's got to be Wii U, because that's the only uh, other system than Nintendo, Nintendo 64, and Wii U. We got a temporary tattoo. That was the free gimme for the month. I had to have another taste because that was that good. All right, so since it's a, uh, a Wii U and a 64 game, let's uh, let's do the, the Wii U game first, and we'll save the 64 game for last. What do we have on the Wii U? We have Terraria. All right, so not bad. It is a complete copy. Looks like it's a pretty decent shape all in all. Let's check the disc out real quick. I doubt it's ever any kind of an issue with these um, other than me trying to get it out of the case. Um, beautiful, beautiful disc, like I expected. And uh, case and everything's in pretty good shape too. So um, it is one that I don't have, so that, that's cool. That's really cool to get it. For a while, it's kind of weird. They just stopped sending me Wii U games all together. And I know there's quite a few. Um, that, that system has kind of dipped as far as the, the, uh, the popularity, the surge and value and stuff that was going on with it. So you could find some games cheaper than what you were able to find them before. I'm pretty sure that Terraria is uh, runs in that uh, 15 ish dollar range or something of that nature. So um, good grab. One that I didn't have. I've never played it. I have no idea what it's about. So hopefully, hopefully it'd be kind of cool. All right. So the only other thing in the box is the one that says update your uh, library and you could post it to social media and possibly win something. That is the end of the box. What do we have right here? For the N64, we have Clay Fighter Sculptor's Cut. <laughs> um, we have a copy of Clay Fighter 63 and a third. This is the standard one. Um, all in all, um, it you know, it's not the back's not tore up or anything. The front's not tore up or anything. It looks like it's a little, a little bit dirty. Probably could wipe it off a little bit, but um, I'm sure it'll probably work though. These things are like tanks. It's you know, I say that, but who knows? Let me, uh, I'll check it out and uh, we'll see. Make sure it works and everything. Um, all in all, though. I'm not, I'm not unhappy with that as far as the, uh, the the quality of the game is concerned and the quality of the other game as well. Two games from the box this month. Not sure if they hit the, the monthly mark. We'll throw the uh, values of what I paid and what the what the value of these two games are worth. Um, definitely no duplicates, though, so that's a good thing. That's always a good thing when you're doing these surprise boxes. You know, just, just... That's all, folks. I don't know. I feel like I should have some kind of like closing thoughts as far as, as the service is concerned after 50, um, 50 boxes. So all in all, I think more months than not, I actually got pretty good value from a, from a monetary standpoint from them. And I always got good value from a fun to play games. They, they never sent me um, anything that was messed up. If anything came and it was just wrecked and there, there was a few occasions over, over the last four years that they sent something that just didn't work. Um, or if they sent a duplicate, that it wasn't my fault. My list was updated and, and they were always quick to respond. VGM, if you sub subscribe to VGM, you could guarantee that um, as a customer for them, they'll, they'll get back with you. Hell, a lot of times they got back with me within an hour of when I would email them from whenever I would have issues. And it was always within a day or two, you have, you'd have a replacement game. Um, never had any issues with them in that regard at all. They are a good service for you if you are just getting started collecting. They're a good service for you if you are like chasing a full set. They'll help you source some stuff that maybe you're just not seeing around your area. Um, me, I've got a glut of retro game stores in my area. Probably within an hour's drive, I could probably hit seven or eight of them for sure. So um, I know a lot of folks don't have that luxury. So if this is something that you're, you know, if you're going uh, retro game collecting, then, uh, and you don't have a lot of stores in your area, they'd be a good option for you. There's a few other services out there as well. Um, I've had varying degrees of success with those services as well. VGM is the one that I stuck with the longest. So this is a bit of a ending of an era here on my channel as far as uh, not, not doing them anymore, at least not, like I said, for a while. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna make it a point to show you guys what I'm finding with that $53 a month, You know what I'm putting that money towards every month. And, uh, you know, maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll see how well I can do with that. I don't know either which way 
I just want to say thanks to BGM because they have been a fantastic service over the past couple of years. Um, they've been a lot of fun to do every month. I've looked forward to getting the boxes every single month. And anytime I've ever had any problems, they've been top notch as far as the company's concerned. Um, I would not without a doubt um, pause for even a second and say, hey, don't subscribe to them because they are a, a good company and they provide a pretty cool service. So I guess that's it, man. We're closing the book on a chapter here on the channel. Um, BGM, thank you for the games this month, and I appreciate everything over the past couple of years. Everybody out there, hope you guys enjoyed this quick unboxing that I did. If you guys uh, get a chance, check out Crooked Crab Brewing Company. Like I said, they're killer brewing company. And until next time, everybody, take care of yourself out there. Be thankful for the people who love you and love the people back that love you. <laughs> take care of yourself. Cheers.